man Johnson. We're here with Miss Tina B. Yeah. We're here, man, with uh, Anthony Tillman. We got Mayor Grant. We had C Pleasant Elementary School. As you can see, DTLR in the community. We out here. We're coming to give away some supplies to these kids. We got some special guests that these kids don't even know about. We got DJ Quicksilver. We got Darren Harper. I mean, we got LOL Station giving away gift certificates and supplies and as well as uh, coupons. So I want y'all to come through, man. Y'all gonna see exactly what this thing is about. Tina, anything you want, you want to say? You I mean, giving back, like you said, an early start for the year. Fifth and sixth graders, we're gonna go ahead and give them some pizza, have some lunch. Thank you to Anthony Tillman, Laugh Out Loud, and Mayor Chris Silva, and Skateboarders. We out. Check y'all inside. I'm Darren Hopp, I'm a professional skateboarder from Southeast DC and I'm here first day of school just to inspire the kids and motivate them that if they pursue their dreams, you know, it will definitely come true. Stay, you know, work, stay hard and work at it. Mm -hmm. You know, that's it. Quick Silver, uh, here on behalf of the Silver Lining Foundation, my foundation, and of course my radio station, 93.9 WKYS. Just uh, as, as he said, uh, to motivate the kids and, 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 just, and just explain to them the importance of hard work, dedication, and consistency. That was a word that I told the fifth and sixth grades was consistency. Because a lot of people, like you say, you know, work hard or, or you're dedicated, but you're not consistent. And consistency is the one thing that takes you above and beyond all your competition. If you're always consistent, you end up having no competition because your, your competition is doing the bare minimum, which acts to them, and you're not going above and beyond. So that was my message to the young people: was to be consistent in any and everything you do, especially in school. And my name is Danny. I'm from Laugh Out Loud Station. And we are a fun and celebration center. We have roller coasters, bumper cars, and we're pretty much just here to provide an incentive for kids to really do well in school. You know, we don't want to just be the place that they come to at the end, but we want to support them in the beginning, letting them know that if they work hard, then they can play hard in the end. So we just Work hard, play hard. I love that. There you go. All right, well, you know, this is Carl Man Johnson on behalf of the Carl Man Johnson Foundation as well as DTLR. And I'm blessed and thankful to have all these people that came out to support. Um, the man behind the camera who you haven't seen, but you will meet, is Anthony Tillman. He's the one that donated supplies. And these people donated their time, gifts, and everything to the kids, man. So, you know, this is something we do every year. My model was fresh start to a new year because it's important for the kids to have what they need at the beginning to be successful at the end. During your high school though, I, I, I start facing a little bit of peer pressure which you guys are going to face or possibly already facing because uh, in sixth grade, I remember peer pressure as well. And uh, there was a, a group of friends of mine when I was skating and because it wasn't that common in the neighborhood, these guys would be like, hey man, you need to drop that skateboard and you know, ain't no black people doing it. It's kind of hard for them to say somewhat. And you know, it would start fights and you know this is a whole lot of negativity but the negative energy I'm trying to show you guys and I want to talk a little bit about just encourage you guys that you can you know you can do away with that no matter what anybody say you know you know in the long run it's going to pay off for you so you can't worry about what the next person say about you or you know just stay positive and stay focused on uh, what you got in front of you I'm not going to say one of those things that I hear too where it's like okay you can laugh, I mean, laugh now, like they laugh at you and then at the end you laugh at them later. Because it's, it's, it's not about all that, it's just about staying positive. And I think you guys, you know, if you, uh, you have dreams, you can pursue them. You've been a tremendous and fabulous day for the students at Sea Pleasant Elementary School. I'm happy for uh, Brother Darren, the great skateboardist, uh, coming by and working and talking with our children. DTLR, uh, the radio station, uh, DJ Crick Silver, and all who have come on the first day of school to give support to our young people, provide school supplies, and give them a great start what will be a great year. So we're thankful and very appreciative of this community, our businesses, our celebrities, and everybody coming out to support our school. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hello, I'm the principal here at Sea Pleasant Elementary. My name is Olga Pabone, and I just want to thank you all for coming out and bringing those supplies for our students so that they can be a success this year. Thank you again. Thank you. Okay, so you finished taking your last few bites. We're going to start with the Browns class, and we're going to jump and line up so that you can go to questions. Um, you 
can see the powder. Uh, so shout out to uh, Mayor Grant for working me on this again, man, for uh, third and second of year. Uh, shout out to you behind the camera, Anthony Tillman, my publicist, Tamiko Thomas, Platinum Image Entertainment Group. We got Miss Danny Kiyar from Ella Well Station who came out and gave this class. Shout out to Detail on that staff. Like, they came yes. in the trenches, they gave bags, they served pizza. Make sure you get the one on the camera eat right here at Kim. She's at uh, store 57, which is uh, the Boulevard at Cap Center. <laughs> if you want to know the way to her heart, just feed her. <laughs> you know what I mean? uh, Tina for coming over to Taco to uh, stuff bags. Any last words, Tina? Any last words, Mayor, Mr. Mayor? No, no, just thank you. There you go, that's it. All right, so. man, it's a wrap. So we'll see y'all 2011, 2012. We'll be back again.